this week's episode of Live from Last Week, episode 12. Let's go! Welcome fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. This week is pretty exciting because we have some new news for you. But first, I got a couple of birthday greetings. Just wanted to wish a happy birthday to Pardo. I've known this guy since our F card days back in university when we would play volleyball back in the quad. And reuniting with him at his wedding when he married one of my old co-workers, Jess. Hoping you have a great and safe birthday, Pardo, and you have a good one. Next birthday is a happy belated birthday greeting to Machmar. This cousin of mine is a Rubik's Cube Master slash Pool Shark slash National Anthem Singer who is forever four years old in my books. Mach Mar, four years old. I say he's Mac Mar, four years old. Anyways, Mac Mar, hope you have a great birthday and we'll see you when this pandemic is over. But while we're on the topic of birthdays, my cousin's wife is actually in the hospital, ready to give birth any time now. So, I have a random idea about riding my motorcycle past the hospital to see how they're doing. And maybe do a stop by Ikea on the way. So great news! An hour before I got here, my cousin's wife gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. Welcome to the world, Lena Malin. So luckily, next door is Ikea. So I'll be resuming my Ikea run right now. Party in the city where the heat is on all night on the beach to the break of dawn. I'm going to Ikea. Welcome to Ikea. Welcome to March 10th, also known as Happy Mario Day! I was just out having a big busy day before I go in for my first of three night shifts tonight. So let me tell you what I've already done today. We've made this a celebratory ritual now, but every time my cousin and his wife gives birth, we go over and deliver them some freshie. <laughs> Once I got back from that delivery, I actually saw on Facebook that somebody was interested in buying my delivery bag. So here's a quick little montage of me and my recently departed delivery bag. Now it's time to go to work for my first of three. So after the first of my three night shifts, a very busy night shift may I add, I was only able to get like, what, three hours of sleep? So to be honest, I'm pretty exhausted. But before I go to work tonight, I got a couple birthday greetings. Just wanted to wish a happy birthday to my tita Nina. 
I want to thank you for your hospitality for hosting me and my fiance when we were back in the Philippines and also helping me to learn the lifelong skill of picking mangoes from the mango tree. Hope you're doing well, Tita, and I hope you're staying safe at this time. Also, have a happy birthday greeting to Louie. Happy birthday. This former Flipics champion has been my ride or die cousin since I was younger. But since the pandemic, I miss playing tennis with you as well as going to concerts with you too. Also, as a fellow YouTuber, I'm going to promote his channel up here, so you guys go check it out. Anyways, Louis, I hope you have a great birthday, and after this pandemic is over, I hope that we can reunite soon. So, I'm pretty excited about tonight's night shift because after it's done, I have my first four days off stretch since the beginning of January. And to commemorate this moment, I'm wearing my Get Shift Done shirt. But before I go into my last of my three night shifts, I have some birthday greetings. Want to wish a happy birthday to Sarah. She was a childhood friend of mine who I competed in dance with and also started in a production of Wizard of Oz with her as Dorothy and me as the Tin Man. Hope you're doing well, Sarah, and I hope you're having a great birthday. I also have a birthday greeting to Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. This guy is someone who I've played indoor and outdoor volleyball with and who has also appeared in one of my beach volleyball videos in the past. I hope to play with you again on the beach this summer, and I hope you have a great birthday, Michael. Also got another birthday greeting to my Kuya John. Happy birthday. He's an amazing father of his son, Jared, who I remember first being introduced to through my at the shop back in 2013 when I visited the Philippines. I hope you're having a great birthday, Kuya John, and I hope you're enjoying your Nintendo Switch at home. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to my fellow co-worker and friend, Joe Cat. Happy birthday, Joe. This cool chick was down to pop balloons with me and celebrate New Year's with me at work. I hope you're staying healthy and I hope we get to celebrate more birthdays with you in the future. Happy birthday once again. So finally, I have a day off. But unfortunately, I was able to only sleep for two and a half, three hours after night shift. So if you're watching and I look haggard, that is why. So today I'm going to take it easy, probably just going to catch up on editing and try to get a little bit more sleep later on. Today being March 14, aka 3.14, aka Happy Pi Day everyone. So I was looking online for a couple of deals and saw that every pie day, there's either a baked pie deal or a pizza pie deal. So I'll be heading out on a journey to get some pizza pies with my delivery bag. So let's go. So I'm just enjoying my blueberry pie for pie day. Cheers. Happy pie day. And can you believe the deal that we got? All those three pizzas plus the blueberry pie for under 20 bucks, taxes included. But for now, I'm gonna put this pie away so that I can make time for some birthday greetings. This is a birthday shout out to Taya. Happy birthday, Taya. I want to thank you and your mom for hosting us in the Philippines a couple years back and for taking time to take my fiance and I around instead of studying for your boards. But looking back at it, it was worth it because you did pass. Anyways, hope you have a great birthday and I hope you're staying safe out there. Gonna call it an easy night and go back to watching the Grammys while finishing up my pie for pie day. So actually today we're gonna check out this place called Sushi and Tea. A place that I always think about going to whenever I'm renewing my driver's license here. But now today we're gonna be able to check it out. So I'm gonna put on my mask and my helmet and let's go order.
my review for sushi and tea this past meal was pretty good. It actually surprised me. And if you ever do go to sushi and tea, be sure to check out their spicy crab bowl. I think that one was my favorite. But it's almost the end of the episode and we haven't done our lesson of the week yet. So right now, it's time for the lesson of the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and learned something today. But now that we're at the end of the episode, follow Jay Walker POV on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit that notifications bell for more future videos from Jay Walker POV. And again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.